Another brick fan here looking at a collectible minifigure series. This is Series 21. This is set 71029, was released in January 2021, has 83 pieces, 12 minifigures, and each minifigure costs about $5, which means you're spending about $60 for this minifigure set. Lots of good minifigures in this set, in this series, however, it's only 12 minifigures, which on the plus side means it's a little less expensive to put together, but on the downside, I really thought 16 was a, the appropriate number, and just about Every other miniseries has about 16. I would have liked to have seen the full 16 in this miniseries. Having said that, a couple of these figures really stand out to me. I really like this ancient warrior. He's all set up like a Aztec warrior. I think the printing on him is spectacular. We'll get a closer look here in a minute. And the other one I really like is Space Cop back here in the back. He has all kinds of great accessories with him and certainly and I have a lot of nostalgia for that space, the classic space logo that he has on his armor there. So that is also very appealing to me. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at each of these figures individually. Here are our first two minifigures. We have Paddle Surfer on the left and Violin Kid on the right. The Paddle Surfer comes with this paddle, obviously, and a surfboard which has some nice printing in that kind of coral and black coloring, which I think turned out very nicely. I really do like this violin piece that comes with our violin kid. I think it looks really nice. And it is using a wand from the Harry Potter series for a bow to play his violin. The surfer also comes with this dolphin piece. Seen this dolphin several times. I remember seeing him him in the Batman series, collectible minifigure series, and probably some other sets as well. Let's get these accessories out of the way and take a closer look at the minifigures. As you can see, when we take the life preserver off the paddle surfer, she has this wonderful print here with a dolphin and all the different colors kind of on her wetsuit here. Very detailed printing on the front there. She, of course, is wearing sunglasses. Here's our violin kid wearing a green jacket and then a white shirt with some green on it. And I think they did a pretty good job of getting that white printed there. Didn't, the green didn't bleed through very much, which is great to see. Sometimes you see that the white bleeds through, the color behind the white bleeds through, but in this case it turned out pretty nicely. No printing on the arms on either one of these figures. I do like this ponytail. So this really nice headpiece with the cap and ponytail looks good. Another design here on the back of the paddle surfer. Looks like he's got a hoodie on our violin kid. The surfer has dual molded legs. And let's go ahead and take that headpiece out of the way so you can see her alternate expression without the sunglasses. And then our violin kid here has his eyes open now. He's not concentrating on playing his violin. So he's got a kind of a frown on his face there. Dual molded legs for our paddle surfer as well. Once again, starting off very strong. I like these two figures and they, I think they were both really well done. Next up we have Shipwreck Survivor and Lady Bird Girl. So the Shipwreck Survivor obviously looks like a kind of a castaway. He's got a very full hairpiece with a beard and this is all one piece. Kind of feels like a helmet inside of the bag. Then there's the bottle here, of course, so you can put a message in. That's the stereotype, of course. Good printing on the legs for these shorts and they're kind of torn up and beat up. Our Ladybird girl has this nice soft headpiece with the antenna. So this is a soft plastic or more of a rubber. A nice printed ladybug or ladybird beetle here. The nice printing with the black and red. I thought they did a nice job on the legs keeping that look. The shipwreck survivor comes with this little crab piece, a hermit crab piece. See his little eyes there, claws in the front, and then this body back here is done with a stud and then an ice cream topper or maybe a poo piece 
here. So the crab turned out very nicely in my opinion. You can see our surfers wearing a shell necklace around here, maybe with a seaweed. And here's the hairpiece I was talking about. It reminds me a little bit of Hagrid's hairpiece. It's got the beard and everything integrated in. It does even have some stubble printed and a mustache printed on his face. Moving around to the side. You can see the dual molded legs here for our shipwreck survivor and then we have this nice wing piece back here also dual molded legs on our ladybird girl survivor does not have an alternate expression but our lady bird girl does have this alternate expression with the big rosy cheeks moving to look at the other side you see the our shipwreck guy has a anchor tattoo there so there we have Shipwreck Guy and Ladybird Beetle Girl. Next up we have Pug Costume Guy and our Centaur Warrior. The Pug Costume Guy looks good here in this costume. I really like the teal bone here. He's got a red bandana around his neck here. And if you take this really nice pug hat off, helmet, <clears throat> if you take the nice pug costume piece off you see that he does have his tongue out like he's panting which I think is pretty funny the centaur obviously is very wide so looking at her from this angle you can see she does come with a bow and you notice she has these bracers on her wrists which look nice looking at the front of our centaur you see that nice Forest dark green printing. She has a leaf there making up a belt. This is the newer centaur piece, which I think was first introduced in the Harry Potter series that came out in 2019. She has that apple there, the nice red apple. And then you see on the other side, she's got a quiver for her arrows. A freckled face, so it looks like maybe a younger centaur. See if we can look around. Here's the back with a darker color tail. And then, of course, the back of our pug here has the bandana tie. There's a little tail there. And once again, he has a different expression with his tongue hanging out. The centaur girl. Also has an alternate expression, as you can see here so once again two very nice figures here within our collection next up we have a beekeeper and an ancient warrior who looks kind of themed after the aztecs to me our beekeeper has this very nice hat with the cover for his face which you see beekeepers using they built a smoker here that calms the bees down by using this oil can topper and then turning a cup piece over so it's upside down. Cleverly done there. The beekeeper includes this printed tile of a honeycomb with a couple of bees on it, which is very nice as well. It has this very detailed shield piece, which looks very good. Once again, I think there's a lot of Aztec influence in there. Here's the sword that he is carrying. And then of course this headdress is very ornate as well. Done in the nice pearl gold as well as just like the shield was done. All of this printing, the different claws on his feet here, the little patterns, bright reds and bright blues in here, all looks really, really good. And that printing continues on his face. You see all of that additional makeup and everything on him. Our beekeeper looks like an older gentleman with a gray mustache and gray eyebrows. A little bit of honey looks like got on his beekeeping uniform here. Moving around to the side you see again bracers here, other leopard type print or tattoos on our ancient warrior and then once again he's got a more of a small grin here same face painting 
detailing along the back there. They did use a red T piece on the legs to give it just a little bit more red in there. Of course, it doesn't quite match the printing on the, on the torso. Here's our beekeeper kind of licking his chops there from the honey. So that's a fun expression for him. And then again, more side printing for the ancient warrior. And there's even a little bit of side printing here on the leg for our beekeeper. Lastly, I want to turn this around a little bit so you can see all of the great detailing on the headpiece for our ancient warrior. All this blue here and the ears, the feathers in the back. Just a really ornate headpiece done quite well on both sides as well as in the front. Let's move on to our next two figures. Here we have Airplane Girl and Space Police Guy. Space Police Guy is one of my favorites. Well, because of the nostalgia of having the space, the classic space logo. And he has so many accessories and handcuffs. Here's a shield that it comes with. The armor that he has included with him has a clips on it for a pistol or blaster pistol here and a like a flashlight or baton back here. Again, that police star on his helmet. Just really well done. This little airplane piece that comes with our airplane girl is really nice. It's got the little propeller that connects in and then she's wearing one of those classic soft leather caps. Let's go ahead and get the airplane out of the way so you can take a closer look at her. Taking a closer look at both of these figures, you see this armor is done in this metallic gray here with a space logo. Our airplane girl is kind of wearing a jumpsuit with a little airplane badge here and some other badges off to the side. She's wearing this soft leather cap, which I remember from the early Star Wars sets with Anakin wearing a very similar cap with the goggles that are integrated. Taking those out of the way, you can see her smile on her face and a little scratching or scarring on her cheek. Our police guy has kind of a grumpy face here. Let's go ahead and take this armor out of the way really quickly so you can see some of the other printing on our space police guy. So you see he's got a jumpsuit that's white and black. Again, the space logo on it looks like a zipper, so he zips out this way to get in and out. It's presumably a space suit. You see more of a smiling expression on our space police guy. He's got the police label on his back. Our airplane girl has a bigger smile here and this airplane print here on the back. Let's take a look at the armor for the police guy again. Putting the armor back in place, you do see these clips here, like I mentioned before, for the blaster and then for a lightsaber hilt with a light on top of it, so kind of like a baton in my, my mind. And this is a dual molded leg as well for our space police guy. Let's go ahead and move on to our last two figures. Last up, we have Alien and Cabaret Singer. The Alien comes with this gem piece here and a crowbar. And our Cabaret Singer comes with a microphone on a stand. I like the printing on the Alien. There's some detailing here. It's kind of honeycombed up here with black and a gray. There's this little blue lights here on his chest piece. This head piece is nicely done. It's not a helmet. This is the this is just a head piece. There's no minifigure head underneath there. So it's just this one dual molded with black and the green. Makes for a good effect. This really big headdress for our cabaret singer. And again, she has this little silver dots all over so front starting from the top all the way down and if you look closely you can see even she's wearing some bluish lipstick along with her purple eye shadow there moving around to the side you can see the good printing on the side of our alien head here the printing on the side of his spacesuit and even down the leg here more of that honeycomb printing in the back although it's probably opposite of what it was in the front. So you had black with the silver and in the back you have silver with the black. 
and then some more blue here showing maybe some oxygen tanks or something. Our cabaret singer has this waistcoat, really shiny metallic waistcoat, and then the dual molded legs, as you can see. Good printing that continues around the back. And then our space guy is also printed on his other side, same as the first, as the other side, making for two really nice characters. So as I said in the intro, a solid set, 12 very good minifigures, would have liked to have seen 16 like previous sets, but none of these figures really disappoint me. Let's go ahead and go and I'll give you my final thoughts on series 21. Overall, I think this is a really solid series. I don't dislike any of these figures. They all have their nice charms about them, like the sparkle on our cabaret singer, the Pug costume guy is really cool with that teal colored bone. Lots of good accessories in here with the violin, the dolphin, that little hermit crab, and certainly that airplane piece there for the airplane girl. Lots of really nice features in this set, and overall, uh, certainly a good, and overall a good set to have. Certainly, if you're into collecting the collectible minifigure series, this is a can't miss. If you're looking for a specific figure, you might want to check out my field guide, which I'll link up here, where I go through each of the 12 figures and point out the unique features to feel for to get them. Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this collectible minifigure series. I'm going to get going on another video. And until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe for more content. I've left a link to my collectible minifigure series reviews up here on the screen.